problem, we have Mr. Hardy assigns homework to his math class, and the assignment requires students to find the prime factorization of 648. Well, um, what is the prime factorization of 648? That's just the multiples, the prime factor, oh, I'm saying multiples, the prime factors that get us this number. And there are some other videos I made on this topic, and I'll, I'll definitely expand a little bit more on it because it's, it's so cool that all numbers can be broken down into prime factors. So this, ha this is one way of, of doing this. If we have 648, I notice it's even, so I, I use 2. That's already one prime number. I'm going to circle these as I go along. So 2 times 324 is 648. And keep going. This is even as well. 2 times what, excuse me, is 324? Well, 150 is 300, right? Because 150 times 2 is 300. So a little bit higher than that to get to get 324. So 160 is times 2 is 320. So 162 will work. And keep going. 2 times what is 162? Well, that's 81. Look at the number 81. That's just 9 times 9. And each of those are just 3 times 3. And what does all this mean? Well, it means that if we took these prime factors and multiplied them, right? 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That means we would get the number 648. And I think in this problem later on, although it got cut off, they asked for this in exponential form. So you would write 2 to the 3rd power, which means 2 times 2 times 2, times 3 to the 4th power, which means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Alright, hope that helped.